Welcome back everybody in the kitchen with Mike Green. He is from Crust, which is a Fenton bakery. An incredible place if you just want to go for a day trip. I think it's just such a, you get a good feeling in there. And he's making, what are you making today, Mike? Today I'm making blueberry muffins, Joel, and it's a great recipe because you can substitute the blueberries for all kinds of great things, but today's blueberries. And we have the recipe on our website if you're not following along. While you're making that, though, you're putting a little flour in there right now. Tell me a little bit about your background. You said you went to uh, Heartland High School, right? Went to Heartland High School, graduated in 1988. And you were a Ford worker. Yes, I worked at Ford, uh, Ford Motor Company. I worked in manufacturing and then also in product development. And then he said, forget it, I want to be a baker. And you went to New York, right? Went to New York, studied at the uh, French Culinary Institute in Manhattan, lived in Soho, uh, had a great experience, and worked with a lot of great pastry chefs and bread chefs. So what did you just do there? All right, so he's obviously got some credibility here. He knows what he's doing, unlike uh, me. <laughs> what I did is I just took all my dry ingredients, my flour, my cinnamon, my baking powder, uh -huh. and my uh Salt and mix right. it all together there, Joel. And you're making muffins right we're now. We're making here. muffins. And the, the dry stuff. The dry stuff. But we're going to take in and we're going to take our melted butter and we're going to make the wet stuff now. We're going to have a little melted butter. Right. Some milk. Our sugar. I like to put lemon oil because it really brings out the flavor well, in well. our... Or excuse me, lemon juice. It right. brings out the flavor in our blueberries. And the key to a uh, great blueberry muffin, I think, is if you mash the blueberries up a bit. Take the half, half of the portion of blueberries, mash them up, and what that'll do is that really gives a nice moist flavor to your muffin. Okay, because they're just kind of uh, consistency-wise, we love blueberries, by the way. I think one of nature's most perfect foods. We'll ask Dr. Dan about that. But uh, you say mush them up a little. Mush them up, so take them in your hand and just, you yeah. could can, can do Squeeze that. Some them. people will put it in their food processor. I just mix about half in, and then the key is you don't want to over mix your muffin or else it's gonna be really tough and it'll also get dry. That gluten develops, so I've got that mixture. I'm just gonna go ahead and add my dries, and then I'm gonna just mix this until it becomes moist and not too, too, too much. Yeah, don't mix it too much? Don't mix it too much. Huh. So you can see how it's coming together there. Once it starts to come together, I'm then going to just throw in my other blueberries. Yep. And we'll put these, this will make uh, about a dozen blueberry muffins. And like I said earlier, you could take this blueberries and you could replace it with caramel or with apples that are in cinnamon and sugar with a little mm. top of a little caramel. Sounds delicious, Mike. Check our website for the recipe, mynbcnews.com. We'll check back with you a little bit later in the broadcast to see how those muffins are doing. Great. Back in the kitchen, our favorite place to be, surrounded by all this <laughs> amazing stuff this morning with Mike from Crust. And what have you made today? We've got blueberry muffins right out of the oven here. Yeah, and you said, Mike, that the key to making muffins is what again? Don't overmix them, and also take your fruit and mash your fruit up, half of your fruit, mash it up, that'll make a nice moist muffin. Don't overmix them, huh? Yes. Brittany, no overmixing. Do you no. like blueberry muffins? I do. I'm eyeing them right now. I got I'm gonna go throw it at my lunch and oh, ask yeah. Dr. Dan if it's healthy or not. Yes, thank you. We might as well just pitch <laughs> but our they're lunches. They're delicious. Right? <laughs> We've yeah. got good stuff here. I know, but crust has everything. I mean, the bread. You guys have a little bit of everything. A little about over 120 products. 120 products. And in Fenton, right? And in Fenton, downtown Fenton. Good and a good day trip, like we mentioned before. Mm -hmm. If you've never been there, you know the smells, the, just the uh, atmosphere in that place is great. Stuff. We'll, we'll be, be back. Right back. Welcome back in the kitchen now with Mike Green. He's the chef, the baker there at Crust in Fenton. And as we're making some blueberry muffins here, tell me a little bit about Crust. You were mentioning, Mike, that it's an artesian, is that what you call it? Artisan. Artisan, I'm sorry. Yep. Artisan baker. What does that mean? It's really all about small batches and really um, honing our craft of pastries and our craft of bread. Yeah. Going back to what your grandmother, how she made bread and pastries. Yeah, my nana, she uh, she was a baker, and he, Mike is a former Ford worker, as we mentioned. He, he then got into cooking and bakery and went to the what is it, French Culinary Institute in New York. So he's got a little credibility there. Uh, and your stuff over at the crust is hard to beat. Now you you did the dry ingredients for these blueberry muffins, which was what? What you put in there? Uh, I put in our flour, mm. cinnamon baking powder and salt, Joel, just making it all really nice mixed together. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to do the wets, which is some melted butter, some milk, some eggs, sugar, and I like to put some lemon juice in there. That's really going to bring out the flavor of our berries. And really important, we're making a blueberry muffin recipe today. I like to take half of these blueberries and mush them up. Once mm -hmm. I get this mixed, I mush them up. And what that does is it really brings a lot of moisture into that muffin. And you know, you probably, you viewers, have all this stuff at home, the sugar, the eggs. You know, you could do this at your house. And the recipe is on our website at mynbcnews.com. You were making a point earlier about 
a keys to making muffins. What is that? You don't want to over mix them. So I'm going to take my, my dries and mix them in there right now. And I just really want to get this incorporated so that it, it comes together. But if I mix it too long, it's going to make a really tough uh, product or tough yeah. muffin. You want it kind of clumpy. Exactly. You want yeah. it kind of clumpy. Exactly. So I'm going to throw these berries in right now and All it's right. going to be kind of a clumpy mess. And I take an ice cream scoop as a great tip okay. to put it into my uh, pan. I can't wait to try one of those incredible blueberry muffins made by Mike Green from Crust. We have something to warm us up this morning. Yes. This is one of my favorite places, actually. Mike right Green down the road from where? From yes. the uh, Crust there uh, in the Fenton. And uh, he made the blueberry muffins. Real quick here, Mike, what else did you bring over there? Oh, we've got, uh, we make our own house made marshmallows, which are really great compared to a store bought marshmallow. We have a brownie with uh, walnuts, our bug bar, our ginger molasses cookie, which is my aunt's recipe. 